What's up, everybody? I am BK, BKBangers.com. Welcome to another video. Today's video, I want to go over how to set up your Impact XT in the new Studio One Point Four. Yeah, Studio One Four. <laughs> So Impact XT, we all know that they uh they upgraded Sample One and Impact. So now um, Impact is a little bit better than it was before, as well as Sample One. What I've realized that the velocity is something going on with the velocity setting. This is the early stages of of Volume Four, so I guess there's still you know checking the bugs so i have a couple uh instances of of this uh impact set up currently and i have the npc live as a mini controller so i'm able to go through impact using the MPC. I did a video a couple days back showing how to set up the Akai MPC as a MIDI controller. So if you have not seen that, be sure to go back and check that out if you want to know in further details on how to uh, get your MPC to operate as a MIDI controller in the Studio One 4 platform. So what we have here, we have on pad one, it's a few different um, kicks. Basically, I, I drag and drop the folder. I'm gonna show you that shortly. And I can pretty much cycle through what kick is that I wanna play. Now, for whatever reason, I'm on the wrong path. <laughs> For whatever reason, I'm not sure why it's doing this currently. Oh, layer mode, I just seen it, see? So I could, depending on how I tap the pad currently, it plays by velocity. That's the layer mode. Being that we have multiple um, multiple kicks in this, so I could change it from velocity to round robin. And then I could change it to random. And then stack. That's crazy. That's like all the kicks that's in the folder stacked up on, on itself. So I guess we'll keep it on velocity for right now. But still, what I'm noticing is that it actually plays more than one kick at a time. You can also reverse the... Uh, you can reverse it. But it's not reversing. I'm not sure what's going on there. It's set to choke itself, which is good. What I want to see what's going on. So right here where it says pad focus is where you would, if you wanted to stay on the pad, 
it'll just stay on the pad. But if you want it to move when you change pads, you put it on pad focus. What I'm trying to figure out though is actually I want it to stay on one kick or one snare rather than it be several. So up here you can cycle through them as well. I want to figure out how to make it stay on one kick because it's cycling through several kicks. Anyway, it has the filter. You can filter it out. Right, you could change the pitch. The filter. The velocity. Alright, so what I'm realizing, right, because the, the MPC's pads are velocity sensitive, so if you put it on full, it'll stay at one kick. So if you put the, the MPC on full level, it'll stay at one kick, but... I'm sure that's not the reason why it's doing that. I gotta figure I gotta figure that out. So all notes. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Alright, so after you you do all that, I'm gonna show you how to uh how to set one up in that way. You drag in an a impact. You'd go into files or wherever you have your um, your drums located at. You go there. Um, this is MSX Audio Low Fi Low Fly Drums Three. So pretty much, as you can see, there's several kicks in this folder. What you would do is instead of opening and dropping individual kicks, you just highlight drag and drop and now all those kicks are on that one um are on that one pad you can change the color to whatever color you wish snares change the color I don't remember what's in the bonus folder. Uh, we'll just drop that anyway. So once you once you drag them in, you color them. You come up here to this little paper leaf folder thing. Go to store presets. You name it accordingly. You could give it a description, uh, lo-fi. Yeah. You could also give it a subfolder, but I'm not gonna do all of that. You store it, boom. So every time, anytime you open, um, anytime you open it, you can come here to the ones that you named. The one that I just named is Low Fly Drum. So this is it right here. And then it also comes with 
a bunch of different um presets itself like it comes with a ton of different drums already set for you so if you don't have any drums it already has some for you so once you set that up you're good to go your mpc is set up in um in midi control mode you're then able to just go through it you also can can use your midi controller to do the same thing right if you have if you have a midi controller you can use your midi controller as well you're not limited to to just using your mpc i want to you know use the pad so that's the reason why i took it the extra step to set it up that way um one last thing i wanted to share with you guys because i forgot to do it in a video that i uploaded i think yesterday in the mpc when you're setting up your pads to route them into studio one you want to go to pad mixer And right here for the outputs, you want to change the outputs, right? So that when you go into the mixer and you go here to the NPC and you expand the mixer, like right now, if I press pad two on the NPC, you don't hear it, but if I press pad one, you hear it. That's because it's coming through um, one, right? I press two, it's coming through three, but you won't hear it, right? If I press any of the other ones, you won't hear it because it's not expanded. So I didn't um, say that in the last video. I, it slipped me to say that. So if you made it this far in this video, I'm not sure where this part is going to be at directly in the video but i'm sure people is going to ask about that in the comment section so i i'm doing this for myself so i can just guide them here to this video all right so that's pretty much it that's how you set up impact xt to uh for your drums and your taste and how you like to operate it in the new studio one four platform i hope this helped you and that's pretty much it. So do remember that music is life. It is our DNA. Keep banging. Peace, love, life. Till next time. Hey.